Hi besties, welcome back. Welcome to a brand new video in golden hour. As you can see, the sun is shining really, why did I put my signal on? The sun is shining really harsh right now. I hope you guys don't mind. But this isn't a video for like visuals. This is just more dialogue. So even like if you want to open up a new tab and like multitask while listening, feel free to do so. Cause like literally, I'm giving you nothing except face right now, <laughs> which is covered by sunglasses. But anyways, okay. So today's video, I wanted to just give you a little mental health update, which I want to start doing maybe monthly or something. Um, because, 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 because of the medication I'm on and the therapy I'm in. <laughs> I wanted to talk about my mental health and how it's progressing with my spiritual routines, my um, physical activity as... <laughs> Not that kind of physical activity. Nope, none of that happened. <laughs> We're talking like jogging and walking. But there are a few things I've done in my life in these past few months to improve my mental health. And I wanted to talk about that as well as my first experience being in therapy. I wanted to discuss that as well because I think that therapy is something that I guess is becoming normalized, which makes me really happy. I also think it's something that people are kind of intimidated by or scared of. So I want to just talk about what it's like to go to therapy for the first time and how it's helped me out. Okay, so let's start with the mental health check-in. So my mental health right now has been pretty good. However, oh, this lighting. Yesterday and today have been like so terrible. I have not been crying at all for a while. Um, like at all, which was like new for me post breakup and in general, like even when I wasn't going through breakup stuff, like I was always crying, but I mean, I guess that's anyways, what I'm trying to say is like, I have not been crying, but yesterday and today I've had like five breakdowns. I went to sleep crying. I woke up crying. I ate and then I cried. I showered and I cried. It was just sad. Like I've just been crying and I don't even know why. The only thing that I can think of is that I got my period yesterday and maybe that just has my emotions really heightened because I take my periods like a pregnancy. I get intense cravings and super emotional and the most intense pain ever. So maybe it's just that. All I know is that I've been sad as shit. But prior to yesterday, I was actually doing really well and making new friends and reconnecting with friends and spending time alone and just like doing the most, like having fun. And I've been like really happy. I've been waking up early by choice for a while now. I've been on a lot of my routines. Like I fell off for a minute, but I've been back to it, like spiritual stuff. And I've been happy, but these past two days have been hell. Today I did nothing. It was really bad actually. I was on TikTok and Instagram all day. It was so terrible. And I just laid in bed. No, I laid around the whole house naked because my roommate wasn't home. <laughs> so I was naked all day. I was miserable and it was, it was something. But after my shower, I'm telling you guys, showers fix so much because after my shower, I felt brand new. I did not think I would record today because I was so sad. But the fact that now I feel okay enough to record and I'm like, happy in a way is really interesting i think it has to do with the showers so that is my mental health check-in but i guess we'll get into some stuff that i've been doing to improve my mental health we'll get into that as soon as i get my iced coffee you guys already know what it is when i'm in my car i'm getting a nice coffee thank god they're a dollar now hi can i get a medium chocolate hazelnut iced coffee with extra ice Anything else? That's it, please. Thank you. Yes, please. Thank you. Thank you. Everybody is out in the streets today. It's crazy. Anyways, so, so I'll tell you guys what I've been doing, and I will get into how they're helping me. So, I've been doing a lot of walking and running, <laughs> jogging actually, not running. I have been eating a little better. I've been working out a bit. I've been on medication, Ciprolex to be specific, otherwise known as Escilidopram or Lexapro. I have been in therapy and I'm taking psychotherapy, psychoanalysis, and I have been seeing my friends more often. I'm gonna talk about these ones really briefly because I just feel like it's common sense. So walking and running, um, I just feel like it's a really good energy release. 
when I leave the house in a bad mood and I go for a walk or a jog, I come back and I feel so much better. I don't know what it is. I think it's because I practice a lot of gratitude in my head as I'm walking. Like I'll look up and I'll be like, wow, this guy is beautiful. Wow, thank you God for the flowers. Thank you God for this. Like I practice a lot of gratitude and I also just feel like all the energy, the pent up energy in me is just coming out because I walk so fast. It's like literal, literal power walking by nature. Like I don't do it on purpose. I just walk really fast. So I just feel like it's really good for me. And I listen to self-help audiobooks while I'm doing that. I wish I was sponsored by Audible. I gotta get a brand deal with them. I listen to audiobooks. Right now I'm currently listening to Single on Purpose, which I love. Even if you're in a relationship, you should listen to that book. It is so good. It's by the angry therapist. I forget his name. Of course, seeing my friends is also really good because when I'm home and I'm just thinking a lot, sometimes I get too in my head, but when I'm with friends that I find to be good company, which are all my friends, then I am able to just enjoy them. And it's it's really good for me. I love it. It's good for everybody. Eating cleaner, self-explanatory. Been drinking a lot more water. I have this big ass water bottle. I drink this twice a day, two of these a day, I mean. And I have been a little more active. All right, let's talk about the medications. Right now I'm on Ciprolex 10 milligrams. I started off on five and then I upped it to 10, or my doctor did. I've been on it before. This is an anti-anxiety medication as well as depression, but I take it more for social anxiety, general anxiety, um, paranoia, things like that, because I have like really intense, I have some, some issues. But when it comes to depression, I wouldn't say it's like, I don't need it for that, but it definitely helps. It helps me feel happier and things like that. But if I were to get off the medication, I don't think I would like fall into a depression, you know what I mean? So I'm happy to know that. I have some side effects, but the thing is like, I don't want to get too deep into that. I actually have a video that I've been working on since I started Ciprolex, which is going to be like day one, day two, day three, day four, day five, all that stuff. And I'm going to be talking about how it affects me, the side effects, all that. But like, I just want to talk about the positives right now, which is it helps me with my social anxiety so freaking much. I find that I don't think as much through interactions the way that I used to, because before my mind would be wandering on everything. Like, oh my God, why did I just lean like that? Oh my God, why did my voice change? Why did this? Why did that? Oh, I haven't even tried my coffee yet. Mmm, delicious. Yum, 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 yum. Delicioso. So, it helps with my social anxiety, um, my paranoia as well. On the nights that my roommate goes to visit her boyfriend, parents, or whoever, and I'm alone, I don't know why I'm experiencing, like, real, I was experiencing severe paranoia because I lived alone for a year. And, like, I mean, my paranoia was bad when I was living alone, I won't lie. But um, now it's kind of worse, and I don't know why. So, once I got on Ciprolex, I found that I just forgot about the paranoia. Like, it just went away. It was so crazy. And it, I, I feel like I'm living so much easier now without having, like, the fear that someone's going to break in or things. Like, I don't know. Like, I just had a lot of paranoia around being alone. It was so weird. It kind of came out of nowhere. And, I mean, I always had it when I was a kid, when I was home alone. But I'm telling you, like, for some reason, it got really bad in the time that I moved um, in with my cousin but only when she's not there. When she's there, I don't, I don't feel it, you know? So that was weird, but it's gone now. Um, I just feel happier overall. Like I feel more functional. It does make me sleepy, I think. I'm pretty sure it makes me a little sleepy, but I'll talk about that more in the other video. But overall, like it's helping me so much. So I'm in therapy. I'm so happy to be in therapy. Like, I am really grateful because it's actually free. As you guys know, um, healthcare is covered in Canada. Therapy is not. However, when you do enough research, there are resources available that can give you a therapist for free, but nobody knows it. No one knows it. And it's so crazy. Like, I had no idea that I could have a therapist for free. I think they keep the information really hard to get. There's only so many to go around, but anyways, I'm not paying for it, which I'm really grateful for. It was such a blessing, to be honest. It came like literally at the perfect time. But anyways, so I am in psychotherapy. So if you want, you can Google it, but my, the way I'll describe psychotherapy is how my therapist described it, which is pretty much a study by Sigmund Freud 
created by him um, that digs deep into your subconscious brain to figure out why you are the way you are, what led you here, all these things. So psychotherapy is a lot of just like free talking without too much like advice from the therapist for a while because it's literally just you um, saying whatever you feel is on your mind. Like if I'm hungry, if I'm thinking about a painting, if I'm thinking about anything, like I talk about it, you know? Like I could just tell her anything. Um, she asked me a lot of questions too, but it's not so much like, I don't know, like it's, it's questions that make me reflect more and dig deeper into my brain, which really helped me too. And another thing that she's mentioned to me is uh, dreams. Telling her about my dreams is the best way to access my subconscious brain and figure out a lot about my triggers, what bothers me, what makes me happy, things like that. So psychotherapy is a longer process. You won't really feel the effects of it and the benefits in a few weeks. You need to be in it for like at least a year to truly, truly reap the benefits. After doing it for a while, it can be one of the best forms of therapy because it really targets um, what you need to target in a way. So it's a really cool process. I love it. I love just telling someone everything that's on my mind once a week. I do it once a week every Friday. I love just talking and, and being validated and, and having someone give me another perspective on things and helping me understand my own thoughts and feelings. It's really beautiful and she's Hispanic which is cool. It's so, it's so weird to not know anything about her. All I know is that she's Hispanic because of her accent in the brief summary she gave me when we first talked. Um, but yeah, like therapy's really helping me. Um, I won't lie, like some sessions had me in tears, which was great. <laughs> I love finishing a therapy session and just like being, well, I don't love it, I hate it in a way, but like I love being able to be vulnerable and like left to think after because once we hang up, I'm alone with my thoughts and our conversation and I just have to reflect on it. So I like to journal after therapy, that's nice. Um, but yeah, like during the session I don't journal, I'm just present. I usually sit on my balcony with my AirPods in and just talk. I never multitask, I'm fully present. But um, it's a really great experience, I'm really grateful for it. I still can't believe I'm not paying for it. But what's crazy about therapy is like, you're having some intense conversation and then she's like, okay, so I guess I will talk to you next week. And I'm like, what? Like, I was like, I, I just started crying. What am I supposed to do? And then we just say bye. It's a really quick goodbye. Like, it's a really, really quick goodbye. So that's the thing that I don't like because it's like, oh my God, like, I'm just kind of here. What the fuck? But it's okay. Like, I understand why. She probably has an appointment, like, two minutes after we hang up. So I get it. So yeah, that's my experience with therapy. I really like it. It's helped me sort a lot of my emotions out and figure out why I do certain things. Um, I love the questions she asks me. I really wish that this type of therapy had like homework. It doesn't. I I don't know why it doesn't, but it doesn't. Because I love how like certain therapies have like those worksheets. And I, I honestly like, I would love to be in psychotherapy as well as another type of therapy to be honest. Like if I started making crazy YouTube money tomorrow, I would just get another therapist, but like an everyday therapist. Not everyday, but like, you know, like a regular therapist, not a psychotherapy. Psychotherapy is going to take a while. So it's definitely not the type of therapy you want if you have like a lot going on right now that you need to go through and sort through your emotions with someone. Like, I don't think that's the type of therapy for you. I don't know. Don't, don't look to me for those answers. So, of course, like do your research. But definitely with some of the things that I'm going through right now, I would love to have uh, another type of therapist because... I just kind of want someone to give me a little more feedback. Oh my god, I'm so sorry for this lighting. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Um, give me a little more feedback and more advice and stuff rather than listen. But I appreciate it and I love it regardless. So, yeah. Alright, so that's where I'm at. That is my mental health update. My therapy, medication update, and more. If you guys like the mental health check-ins, let me know and I will do them once a month I would say maybe bi-weekly but with that being said guys I want to hear how you're doing give me a little summary on what's going on in your life right now if you feel like sharing if not just let me know how you're feeling just let me know how you're feeling give me your own mental health update are you okay Is something bothering you any new accomplishments any new achievements um 
anything make you laugh today? How are you feeling? Have you been in bed all day? Like, give me something. You better give me something. I'll be reading those comments and responding like I usually do. Sometimes I don't respond to like small comments, but whenever it has to do with like how you're feeling or you, whatever like that, I love to read them and engage with you guys because it's just like so fun to feel so connected. Um, but with that being said, oh, right when the lighting gets better, I'm getting off, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a little thumbs up, uh, subscribe and all that. And thank you for watching. I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.